if i understood correctly what you are asking monica is uh, what happens when i update a specific row in a teaser and how update and groom are related to each other right two yes, different yes. things okay now let's try to create a table and insert some data and we try to update the same table I am connecting to system database. Now let me create a database, a complete new database altogether. Right. So the database creation with this name failed because the name should start with a character, right? If I say create database July, this would be successful. Now let me check through other terminal what is my database status. NG state is online, this should be okay. Yeah. The database got created. When I do backslash L, I can see this database called July. Now I connect to this database called July using backslash C command. Now when I say backslash data, I don't have any tables here. Now what I do is the first scenario I create one table called test one with only one column. When I create a table called test one here with only one column, I haven't specified any distribution key or anything. If I don't specify any distribution key, by default the first column is a distribution column, right? That is something you can find out from backslash D here. When I do backslash D test one, column one will be the first column. I mean, I mean, column one will be the default distribution column. It says distributed on hash C1. So by default, it is distributed on hash on first column. If I don't specify any distribution key. What I do next is I insert some data into test one values 501. So I insert another record here. Up arrow will repeat the previous command. Each insert statement is an auto commit. The feedback we are seeing here is insert one row affected. This zero you can ignore it. It only comes for insert statement because of some architectural deficiency. When I say select star from test one, you can see all the three columns here. Now scenario number one. When I try to update, what is update syntax? When I say question mark and up, sorry backslash h and update. This is how I need to update. Update test one table set column one equal to 5 401 where column 1 equal to 501. This is scenario number 1. I created one table with one column. The column is by default distribution column. I am trying to update the same distribution column. This will fail. This will fail because you cannot update a distribution column. Maximum you can give four columns as a distribution key. Here this column is part of a distribution key. You cannot update a distribution column, scenario number one. So this is a very important thing you need to consider while choosing a distribution key. So let me create another table now. This will explain you
So I'm creating now table test two with two columns, integer and character. I haven't specified any distribution key. So the default distribution is again on hash with first column. Now what I do is I insert into test two values 501 comma Ravi so I try to insert 502 comma Monica now when I do select star from test two I see two records now coming back to your original question on updating a column. Okay. So what is the syntax of update? Backslash H will give me the syntax. When I say update test to set column two equal to Ravi N where column two equal to Ravi. I want to update Ravi name to Ravi N. This is successful. This will be successful because you are not trying to update a distribution column. I'm trying to update a non-distribution column but it is successful. The update feedback also confirms the same saying that one record is updated. Right? Now when I say select star from test 2 you will see this modified name. Or modified column to against this record. Now <clears throat> what happens when I try to do update is an interesting thing here. Along with these visible columns every row will also store some invisible data. What are those invisible columns? Data slice ID, create X ID, delete X ID, row ID, These four are the extra invisible columns. What these guys hold is data slice ID of course holds in which data slice ID it is going. Create X ID the transaction that created it which is always an even number. Delete X ID is a transaction that deleted the record. Row ID is a memory address. Column 1 and column 2 are the columns that we explicitly defined. Now if I set a flag such as set show underscore deleted underscore records equal to true and if I run the same query I will see this time three records instead of two I will see three records. What is these three records here? Why would I get extra record here? I got an extra record with a delete x id value greater than zero. What I mean by this is, watch out the output carefully. This delete XID greater than zero exactly has my previous version of updated record. Right? Previous version of updated record. Right? From this we can infer that whenever I do an update in Netiza, the previous version of a record is maintained. The previous version of record is maintained. That is a costly operation. That's why there is a general consensus that updates in Netiza are costly when compared with other systems. Why? These are costly from space point of view because you have to maintain this record. Right? These are costly from performance point of view because you have to update this record and date this record and create a new record. Right? But, but we are working here on a data warehouse environment. Generally in a database environment, you don't see many updates, right? You majorly insert the data into data warehouse. It's a time-driven system. You just add up or pile up the data. So this is okay. But this version of the previous record is maintained just in case if you want to roll back. Because you don't have a transaction logging in Netiza or a redo logging in Netiza. So if you just want to roll back, like Oracle calls it as a flashback in, in some scenarios, right 
you see my point so far monica yeah. right yeah. Now, now coming back to the update scenarios it's costly right because it has to maintain this old record from space point of view it has to add this new record it has to end the old record and create a new one the interesting aspect here is the delete xid for ended record and create xid for the new record are same yeah of course these both happen in a single transaction we know right transaction is nothing but all or none if it happens happens everything otherwise nothing happens so that's why it ended the current record this is a transaction id the same transaction id created a new record here right but as time goes on as time goes on if let's say i update like a million records every day you have unnecessary data getting stored this is one way advantage so that you can go back in case needed but as time goes on like a week or a couple of weeks after that you don't need this data right now how do i reclaim or how do i delete this permanently right i can compare these deletes like recycle bin in windows you know whenever i delete something on windows it will go on sit in recycle bin right but how do i delete this forever so if i am trying to delete from test to where delete xid equal to 30224 it will throw an error saying that you cannot delete already deleted record right so this record was already deleted so you cannot try to delete it again so but how can i reclaim or how can i throw this guy entirely out of my recycle bin that is the concept of groom g r o o m you simply say groom table test2 what this groom does here is it reclaims the space given to the deleted records you see here groom process is two pages one page from disk 1 and another page from disk 2 purged one records so it purged one record scan size of course unchanged because two pages still exist and another page is reduced so table size also unchanged if i run the select statement here now you see only two records now you see only two records by but my flag is still true here okay so i can say here that false doesn't matter now if true or false your deleted record is gone now in summary we learn few important things here what is the first important point we learn you cannot update distribution column right by default hash distribution on first column updates is nothing but delete plus insert delete old record and insert a new one updates are costly when i say something is costly i'm comparing this with other systems but you can ignore that fact because this is a data warehouse systems where you don't go for updates pretty often mostly it's every time inserting the data right so we also looked at something called show underscore deleted underscore record to true or false to just see the deleted data you can't delete already deleted record so we do it to is an error right then we looked at groom table table length. did i answer your query monica okay this is what you are asking right yes okay right all right 
let's move on. What is the next thing you would like to learn? Or do we just need a recap? Let me let me combine the next topic right since you asked me update plus groom the next topic I have is groom plus backup right groom plus backup groom has a certain dependency on backup backup command so if I take the same example here if I just exit from here if I take full backup of it backup of uh, command the database is July to hyphen dir temp hyphen user admin the password so verbose now what I'm doing here is I'm taking a backup of the July database when I create a backup, it creates a consistency point. It creates a consistency point. Now I'll repeat the same update example. Okay. And you will be surprised with the result. Now let's do that exercise now. So let this guy finish up. The backup was successful, right? The return code is zero. The backup was successful. Now what I'm doing is I'm connecting to July database that we have just created, right? When I say select start from test one, sorry, our table is select start from test two, right? Right. Now I set this set show underscore deleted underscore records equal to true next I again on the select statement I don't have any deleted records here sorry let's do this select row ID data slice ID create x ID delete x ID start from test 2 so this flag is true but still it does not show any deleted records that means we don't have any space that we can reclaim. Now let's do the same exercise. I update test two, set column two to Ravi Kumar, where column one equal to five zero one. Wherever column one is five zero one, I'm updating column two to Ravi space Kumar. This is an update. We learned in our previous example of update plus groom scenario that. Whenever you update, it's a multi-step process. It has to delete the record by assigning a delete XID. Same XID will be given for new row that is getting inserted. You see the value? Right. So this is what we did in update plus groom scenario too. Right. But now what I try to do is I try to groom table test two. So what I did here was I did a groom table test two, like in a same uh, update plus groom scenario. But you'll be surprised to see here this purged only zero records. It did not purge this record. 
we can confirm this by select statement. The record still exists as it is. Why? Why it was able to delete that in a previous scenario? That is, when I worked on this update plus groom, why it was able to do it? Why it was not able to do it now? Any idea on this, Monica? The only different thing we did was we took backup. When I say backup, it brings consistency point. It brings a consistency point. So groom table on a backed up database. Right? Groom table on a database which got backed up at least once won't just delete the records as and when you need. It deletes the records only if this record is eligible for delete. Now here is a concept. It works in a different way. Groom if no backup on the database by default deleted record is eligible for groom. Right? However if I have a backup, if I have at least one backup on the database. By default, deleted record is not eligible for group. When it is eligible? After you include that deleted record in at least one backup set ID. What do we have to do for this? You have to go back, exit, and repeat this full backup or incremental backup, whatever we call it as, hyphen you say, differential. So, so when, when I take incremental backup, the deleted record, the deleted row will be part of this differential. This setting is there or this requirement is there because you want a consistency on the database. Just in case if you want to go back to that record again, you have that recorded in this backup set ID. Now if I run this select row ID, data slice ID, create X ID, delete X ID, comma start from test 2. Now if you try to do groom table test 2, it will clean up that record. Because this record is now eligible for groom. Why it is eligible for groom now, not before? Because you made sure that this deleted record is part of a backup set ID. You see my point here? So groom works differently on a different databases. I mean basically it depends upon how you maintaining the database. If database has no backup at all, Every deleted record is by default eligible for groom. However, if database is backed up on a regular basis or at least backed up once, by default the deleted record is not eligible for groom. Or here. Not eligible for groom. When it is eligible then? After you include the deleted record in at least one backup set ID, command is ng backup. Okay, you see the point here, Monica? Mm -hmm. yes. right. However, however, there is a little variance to it. So if I say update test two set okay uh, column to back to original Ravi full name if I put this way where column 1 equal to 501. Now when I say groom table test 2 this is the same scenario it won't purge anything. But I don't want to wait for a backup but I want to purge this right away. I don't want to wait for a backup because I am a developer 
and waiting for a backup in the sense waiting till like a weekend or waiting till like uh, evening after business hours but I want to purge it right away so that's where you can go and explore the syntax of a groom table a little more when you do backslash h groom table it will show you syntax saying that groom table test to here there is an option called reclaim backup set none so here you have an option to specify groom mode or reclaim choice so you don't have to worry about groom mode I'll explain you separately later so what we have to specify is I don't want this to be part of any backup set just clean this mess I don't want it that's when it purges the record it does not wait for your backup set so this is only thing that you have to do you know once you know what you are doing right you cannot go back now if I have to find out what is my previous record there is no track of it you see my point now this is an important option here one more option is room if you have a backup plus uh, backup set none this another exercise in this case various scenarios okay so any questions so far on this Monica